Blow the whistle, Ryan. It's time for season two of the Geek Dad Report versus the NFL to kick off. Wait, how does the rest of that theme song go? I don't even remember. I don't know. It's like, bum, 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 bum. Or that's Law and Order. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. It's probably better <laughs> we don't hum the whole NFL theme song because then we'll get sued and taken off the air and yeah. all those things. I don't even know who's doing the, the Monday Night Football song anymore. I don't either, but I do know who's here to talk all things NFL and make some picks for week one of the uh, 2018 season. That would be us. Brian West, the hostess with the mostest. And I am Ryan Thomason, the hostess that wears the greatest of the suit coats because he is the defending champion. Okay, first of all, so. we don't talk about last season's stats. It was our warm-up season. I guess uh-huh. you were kind of the champion, but we'll ignore that fact. Two, okay. I really actually – I didn't realize you were going for sportscaster. I thought you were going for – I thought you were warming up your Rick Moranis – uh, Ghostbusters Halloween costume. I was going for a sports caster, but now that you said that, I'm kind of like, I don't know if I should, I feel honored more. Yeah. So like, so like I didn't even try, you just got to get, so. you got to get your, uh, you got to get your wife and you can go as the gate, the, the, the gate master and the, what is it? The key master and the gatekeeper. And then you yeah. can get your two kids to dress up as old demon dogs. I say make it a whole family you know, affair. I'm, I'm all for my wife dressing up as Sigourney Weaver at the end of it's, Ghostbusters. It's sexy but, 1980s Sigourney Weaver. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to propose this, and I will let you know how it goes. All right. Yeah, definitely. Let me know how that goes. Uh, but we are not here to talk about our other favorite topic, geek stuff. Yeah. Uh, we are here to talk about our second what, favorite what? topic, football geek stuff. Football geek stuff. Yeah. Other geek stuff stuff is whatever that you love and passionate about and we love giving each other shit about how each other's team sucks yeah and some some people just like ryan suck more than my team does but uh but yeah you know what if you if you love anything and you're passionate about it and you love to talk with your friends and geek out about it that is what the geek dad report is about and one of the things me and ryan absolutely love is the nfl we love football and we love uh we love talking about them and and we decided last season that we would give this a a trial run and see what happens and it became one of our most popular shows so we are going to keep up that tradition and if you are new to this and don't know exactly what we're what we're going to do so um in addition to our regular geek dad report shows that we do uh our reviews everything else we're going to have a uh we're going to review every week we're going to we're going to pick the 17 well the each week we're going to pick all the games tell you who the winner and losers are uh we're going to do this for the 17 week regular season and then we'll do it for the playoffs so um normally me and ryan will alternate weeks uh sometimes i will do the picks by myself sometimes ryan will do the picks uh because if you know me and him get together we tend to talk a long time and we want this segment to be you know a 15 minute segment something <laughs> a, little, just a little bit more condensed <laughs> a little more condensed something you yeah. can just kind of hop on get your you know your football picks in yeah. and and uh, well, listen we, to what we have to say. A couple of nobodies who don't know really much about anything. But uh, you can listen to what we say because maybe we might know more than you. Who knows? <laughs> and we do announce what the other person picks are when it's our week. So, yeah. so everyone does get to know. So if I'm just doing it, I will say what Brian picks are for the week. So uh, then, everyone can remember. And then at the end of the season, we will tally them up. And then the winner will be celebrated and the loser will be disgraced yeah. and, and shunned. We did- we did make a bet this year. We did make a bet. If you don't, if you don't know, as you can clearly tell, I am a Seattle Seahawks fan. Uh, Ryan is a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. So we made a bet: whichever team has a better record to finish the season um, will win the bet, and the loser of the bet will have to do the final episode of Geek Dad Report versus the NFL. So our Super Bowl edition, wearing no shirts. Yes, because their team clearly does not deserve to have any kind of sponsorship. So, no, so I will still be wearing. If I lose, though, I will still wear my suit jacket. And Ooh. if I lose, really everybody wins because who doesn't want to see all this? I'll tell you that right now. Hey. Yes. Mm. All right. No, no, all right. Uh, but this week, me and Ryan said we're going to do it together, and we're going to do something a little bit fun, other than just pick the uh, the uh, our winners and losers for the week. Uh, week one, we are going to also break down. Well, not break down, but we're going to pick our our division winners. <laughs> We're going to do a Geek Dad Report breakdown. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's us. We're going to give you who we think are going to win each each division and then um, who we think will represent each conference in the in the NFL. So 
uh, in the NFL in the Super Bowl this year. So we will uh, give you all the playoff teams that we think are going to make it and who's going to match up in the Super Bowl. Uh, in addition to all, I think, 17 or 16 games, I think 16 games of the week one schedule. So buckle up, Buttercups. You're in for a fun oh, yeah. I'm ready. football. I've been, I've been doing analytics. I have been listening to all the podcasts. Wait, wait did you say you've been doing analytics? Yes. You've been analytics. doing – an- Sorry. Well, you've been doing I, I, anal. No, we're going to leave it with analytics. Uh, and I'm going to give a quick small disclaimer before we break this everything down. Me and Ryan are not professionals, as the anal, anal licking Ryan can attest to. Um, we do this for fun, and we are very much just uh, consumers of sports. We do not break these things down. We have no insider information. Yeah. And if you choose to, to listen to us and say, you know what, these guys know what they're talking about. I'm going to go lay some money down in Vegas. Uh, Don't. You can. <laughs> But do not be mad at us because we do not claim to know anything of what we are talking about. We just sound confident. We are not actually competent. There is a the totally difference. In, it's different as, to do. As authorized legalized sports betting. Yes. Then by all means, do it, but don't blame us if you lose. But if you put all your entire money on the Cleveland Browns to beat the Steelers this week and it doesn't pan out, well, that's on you. I don't have to tell you. Yeah. Yes. But... We do know what can, which division is going to pan out without even having to even give it a second thought. Yeah, definitely. So, all right. So, with that being said, our small disclaimer, uh, welcome to season one, or season two, season week two. one. Ryan. What week season, are we What season are we in? Let me do it again. That being said, Ryan, welcome everybody. Like I said, people, confident, not competent. Uh, welcome to season two kickoff of the Geek Dad Report versus the NFL 2018 season starts now. Wish we had a whistle. I'm definitely not buying a Janikowski jersey, but here we go. Before the picks, we are going to break down each division. Ryan, which division would you like to start with? Uh, Well, it's not the division that I want to start with, but it's the one that's the most obvious. It's it's the worst division in the NFL. The The AFC The easiest to win. As long as you got a a, uh, a shoe-in for a Hall of Fame quarterback, um, oh. You will win the AFC East. I don't and know what you're talking about. Wait, wait. You're talking about the division that has one team, only one team. They don't mm-hmm. do anything all season, and then they automatically get a first round bye every year, and then everybody says they're the best team in the history of the NFL. Yeah, and they always have like the weakest schedule. Yeah, that team. So the Patriots are going to win the AFC East. They'll get the week one bye. They're gonna um, they're gonna oh. get their deflated balls into the playoffs yet again. Yeah. And the Dolphins and the Jets and the Bills are all going to, like, not even get close. If you so. took all their quarterbacks and combined them into one quarterback, that quarterback still couldn't play quarterback in any other division of football. Yeah, they might be a backup Yes, if you're lucky. I don't know, we'll see. Sam Darnold could be good. All right, so the Patriots so are going to win. The, he could be, but not this year. So the, yeah, the Patriots are going to win the uh, AFC East. What's next? Since we're in the AFC, why don't we just stick to the AFC? What do we got? You want to just stick with the AFC? We'll yeah. go with. How about the AFC North, Brian? Which right. is probably the yeah great... another crappy division full of hack quarterbacks who get easy runs to the playoffs every year. Easy runs. Okay, so here we go. The AFC North. We have the Ravens, the Bengals, okay. the Steelers, and the Browns. The, yes, the perennial the eight and eight Ravens. But you always have the 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 Steelers are going to win this division and the Ravens and the Bengals will be knocking on the door for the wild card. So, like they are every single year because this is the strongest and toughest division in football, Brian. We and have the our Steelers first... also have the strongest schedule. I'm going to give it schedule. to you since this is your Steelers. Uh, but we have the, our first... Our first, uh, our first feud going because I do not believe the Steelers are going to win this division. I think the Steelers uh, are in decline. I think Le'Veon Bell is being selfish and he's tearing the team apart. You lost your okay. best linebacker last Le'Veon year. Le'Veon Bell Tragedy. is going to wait until week ten. Oh my God! To come on, Roethlisberger will be completely fresh and he only has to play. is on the wrong side of talent, and uh, I just think that I think the Steelers are ready to have a implosion and a down year. And uh, I think Cleveland is going to be much more competitive this year. I think the I think the Ravens have Joe Wacko Flacco, so they're not going to do anything. They'll win eight games. But I think this year the Cincinnati Bengals are going to find a way to pull it together and win this division. I'm going to yes. say the Bungles are going to win the AFC North this year. I, I think the the Cincinnati offensive line is going to fall apart like they did last year. The Ravens are going to shoot themselves in the foot. All right, and, no, 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 no. You already said you already said your piece. You said your piece. I said my piece. Let's oh, move on. Whatever. 
So Ryan says the Steelers because he is blinded by love, which will is a yes. theme that will come up later which, when we get to the yeah. NFC West. Well, but go ahead. So let's move along to the All AFC right. South with right. the, the Texans, the Colts, the Titans, and the Jaguars. Does anyone care about this division? Uh, no. You know, I will say this. I think it's a, a pretty competitive division. Suddenly, uh, Houston has a much better team. Well, every year they have a good defense, but now they have a good they quarterback. They say that every year. Yes, but every, now they have Deshaun Watson, who is a great quarterback. Ooh. But Ooh. we don't know what he's going to do coming off that knee injury, so we'll see. Uh, the Colts are terrible. A- Andrew Look. Luck or no Andrew Luck, they're just bad. And the Titans... Yeah. They're so they're dude. They're the Ravens, right? Of that division, they're yeah. eight and eight every year. They play good. They play bad. They're always on the fence that they're going to either ruin someone's season. Or, or... But is there? Yeah, exactly. Right. They're going to show up in some games, and some games are just going to look terrible. Uh, hopefully, Andrew Luck doesn't hurt his shoulder again because if he does, the Colts will be the worst team in football. But I mean, is there any is there any doubt that the best defense in football is going to win this division with Jacksonville? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Jacksonville's going to end up just taking over the yeah. division. Even though so. Bortles is the limp noodle armed quarterback, he has a phenomenal running game and one and like I said, the best defense in the NFL this year to back him up. So yeah. I'm going to say Jacksonville. Yeah, I'm going with Jacksonville too. Defense All right. wins. All so. right, what do we got left? Uh, AFC West. Uh, AFC West. All right. We have the Broncos, the Chargers, the Raiders, and the Chiefs. Um, I don't know what the hell the Raiders did this off season other than like. I'll tell you what they did. They traded yeah, away their yeah. best player, like, in the last 30 years for two yeah. first rounders. And they, they, Joe Gruden did, I guess. Yeah. John, John Gruden. John Gruden just stayed in the booth. Yeah. Uh, just, doing, doing anal licks and, yeah, uh, and uh, having his, having his quarterback camps. So, yeah. Um, I, I don't know. They, trading Khalil Mack. It's going to be the Chargers. Going to be I, the dumbest move of like maybe in Oakland Raiders history. I <laughs> was so stupid. That guy One is an absolute the, beast. Yeah, it, it's going to be the Oakland Raiders are known for making some weird moves, but Well, and then hey, and then you co- compile it, hey, let's uh let's if we're the Chiefs, let's take our our franchise quarterback who yes, he's a little bit older and let's just get rid of him too while we're at it and start this yeah. guy who's got a strong arm but nobody knows if he's any good. Yeah, why not? In Denver, hey, how about the last 3 drafts? Let's draft nobody. In fact, let's cut our first-round draft pick from a couple of years ago because he can't play quarterback and sign Casey Keenum to a bunch of money. You know, whatever. You are right. Yeah. Uh, the Chargers look <laughs> poised. they got a solid defense. Phillip Rivers is he, – he's weird, but he's just old, but he still he, continues to win every single year. So. He's still around. He's like the Tom He's like Tom Brady, you know. For, and didn't, for they, and didn't they start like 2-8 and eight or something and then almost made the playoffs last year? Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, uh, I'm with you. I think the Chargers are definitely going to win this division. And yeah, uh, this, All right, so we picked our we picked our four teams. Who do we think is going to go for as a wild card in these divisions? I think the Chiefs are probably the closest wild card. So Yeah, I'll say the Chiefs. I'm going to go with the Chiefs and I, I really like Texas this year. I think Texas I think the Texans are going to I think the Texans are going to get in for a while. Well, you know what? I would like to you can't hang on. Here, you pick the Texans for me. Do I pick the Texans? No, no. Okay, well, whatever. You know what? I was going to pick the Texans, but because of our Super Bowl picks, I'm going to say I think the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to make it in on a wild card. Oh, I'm, I'm noticed Steelers are going. I, I already Well, it doesn't what, make sense for our no. pick. Well, you know what? Wait a minute. That's your pick. All right, I'm going to say yeah. that the Texans are getting in this year. I like him. I think I think Deshaun Watson's a real deal. And I think uh, Houston's had a great defense for a long time, and they're finally going to put it all together this year. All right. So that is our right. AFC picks, and uh, we'll get to our Super Bowl pick here in a minute. But all right, NFC. Well, let's move on to the NFC East. The, the, the better the, conference. The, the Redskins, the Giants, the Cowboys, and the Eagles. So this is probably one of the more um, rivalry-heavy divisions in the NFL. Um, the Cowboys... I'm, I'm going to say the Cowboys quite... are going to win this division. I think the Eagles are going to take a step back. I really like the Eagles, but they have a really tough schedule this year. Um, Carson Wentz is still not healthy. I, I know Nick Foles won the Super Bowl, but over a long season, I don't know if he's going to be as good as Carson Wentz. Like the highest paid backup of all time. Y- yeah, exactly. So um, I-, I think the Cowboys have a really – I think they have a solid offensive line. Dak is really good. Ezekiel, they're going to have him for the whole season. The defense is suspect, but I, I think they're going to be good enough to win this division. 
Um, the Giants could intrigue. They got uh, Barkley, the running back, who looks great, but Eli Manning's old and washed up. It, yeah, the the Giants will depend on how Eli Manning can get the ball to Odo Beckham Jr. or not, yeah, and, and how how they if they don't get injured. And let's so, be honest, the Washington Native Americans, nobody knows what nobody they're going to do. Cares. They shipped nobody out. Cares. They shipped out a, a above average quarterback and cousins for another above average quarterback with who's older with Alex Smith. I, I don't know what they're gonna do. And they Probably have the, the biggest pizza shit owner in the NFL. So yeah, pretty much. So, um, so I'm gonna go with the Eagles. Are you gonna go team. Eagles? All right, I'm gonna go Giants, you're gonna go Eagles. Or uh, sorry, Cowboys and you're gonna go Eagles. Um, all right, next division. Let's go to the uh, let's go to the NFC North. The NFC North. Your a, favorite division ugh. that you love. In the them. NFC, I know that, Brian. I know who we're going to talk about. Who I hate. The Minnesota Vikings. The richest player in the, the NFL Chicago right now. The Chicago Bears. The Detroit Lions and Brian's favorite arch nemesis of all time, the Green Bay Packers. You got to admit, Seahawks Packer games are. Oh yeah, fun we games we for. usually win those though, so I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah, because you get a uh, cheers. Hey, and, blame the officials. Um, so I don't know. That's actually a tough call. I am going to – I'm going to go ahead and skip all these. I do think the Bears are going to be better. I think the Lions are going to be 8-8 eight eight as always. Um, They're I think gonna the start Packers are good with Rodgers but have a crap team without them. Uh, but I think I think the Vikings are probably – I think the Vikings are probably um, – did we say the Bears? The Bears aren't in this division, are they? The, the Bears are strangely made some really good picks, so if they can – put it together and they might actually have a good chance of either winning the division or getting to the wild card. I think I'm going to say though, here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, I think the Vikings are probably going to win this division. Um, just because I think, I think they have, they, they had the second best defense last year. Um, their biggest problem was they had the merry-go-round quarterbacks. Uh, Kirk mm-hmm. cousins is a good quarterback. They're getting the running backs back who had their, uh, I forget his name, but the rookie running back who blew out his knee. He was, yeah. on, he was on a tear before I heard it. So I think the Vikings are a really good team and I think they're going to put it all together. I do. I know you're probably going to pick the Packers because Aaron Rodgers is the best player in football, but their team is not yeah. good. Oh, they completely, they only have one like, defensive guy coming back from their yeah. secondary. They got a new defensive coordinator. Well, their they're yeah. rookie, they're, they're, well, they're, was it their rookie or second year linebacker who was looking pretty good, blew out his ACL on training camp? It's just, they just yeah, cannot buy a break on defense. Got rid of Jordy Nelson. They got rid of, you know, a lot of their best players. But so my wife doesn't divorce me, I will be picking the Packers. All right, there you go. Uh, you yeah. know what? I say watch out, though. The Bears are a sneaky pick in this division. Yeah. I think and the Bears are ones to watch this year. It all depends on if Trubisky can be a real quarterback. But like I said, they just picked up Khalil Mack uh, on a good defense. They play in Chicago outside like crazy people. Yeah. Yes. But and now we have the, uh, the NFC South, the Falcons, the Panthers, the Saints, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um a lot of people usually just kind of go straight to the Saints on this one. Um, I'm, I'm going to go straight to the Saints on this one. You are? I'm, yeah. I'm going to go with Atlanta. I think Matt Ryan's going to uh, going to put together another, you know, nine and eight season. <laughs> I don't know uh, how that's possible, but I'm going to say that's a great pick. Um, I, you know what, Atlanta, I, I don't think – I think there's three teams in this division. I think Tampa's going to be absolute garbage. Um I do oh, yeah. think I think Carolina is going to be good. I think Atlanta is going to be good. But the reason why I'm going to go with uh, New Orleans is they found that that Kamara Alvin Kamara is an absolute phenom running back, and he mm-hmm. is unstoppable. When they started getting him the ball, they nobody could stop that kid, and he's coming back, and he is just a monster. Their defense was drastically better last year. Their offense played with a strong running game, and people just could not stop them. I think New Orleans yeah. is going to be real strong. I think I think this could be one of maybe Drew Brees' last for us. So I think I think they're going to come out with a strong season, and I'm going to say the Saints are going to win this division. Well, if if you can give Drew Brees um, enough break to have a running back, he's going to be extremely lethal. If he's not, if he doesn't have to throw the ball the whole game long, it's going to put a lot of other teams in trouble. Yeah, uh, no, I, I, I agree. Even though I still think the Falcons are going to win this, yeah, that's, hey, that's a solid pick, man. I'll give you that one. It's it's oh. I, to me, it's kind of a crapshoot in that division. All right, the hard part is going to pick up the wild cards in the NFC. Yeah. The NFC is stacked this year. Yeah, yeah. All right, and that's it. There's no more divisions left. You are no. out of your gosh darn so mind, Ryan. Week one, 
Of Shut the up. All right, let's talk about the best division. Well, for years, it's what's been one of the better divisions of football, the NFC West. Uh, we got the Cardinals. We're not going to talk about them because nobody will be talking about them all season. Yeah. Uh, the Niners. They're good. They got a they got a good quarterback in Garoppolo. Jimmy G. Garoppolo. Jimmy G. I don't know whatever his name is, but everyone Jimmy talks G. about him like he's a second coming. You know what, Jimmy? Play a full season, and then we'll talk about you on this show. Uh, mm. So I think it leaves up to two to teams in the division. You had the division winners last year, which was unfortunately not the Seattle Seahawks. You had the uh, the suddenly good Los Angeles Rams, tough defense, uh, genius coach who turned an idiot hat quarterback like Goff into a producer. Um, all world Todd, Todd Gurley yeah all yeah. universe running back in Todd Gurley who is the reason why they were so good last year but people yeah. forget the fact that the Rams played a, seven backup quarterbacks last year in one of the NFL's easiest schedule and still only won the division I think at 11 and 5 I think is what they went um, yeah. they added some really top end talent this year but a lot of knuckleheads you added Namakasu knucklehead you added uh, Johnson, the, uh, Marcus Peters, the, 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 uh, DB who picked up a flag, threw it in an official or threw it in the stands and then ran off into the locker room because he thought he was going to be ejected, even though he wasn't ejected. Um, who got basically yeah. traded. One of the best corners in the league got traded for practically nothing because Kansas city says we don't want him. And then Aqib Tlaib, who him and his mother were in trouble once for running down the street, shooting guns at his sister's boyfriend. So these are the people. <laughs> That you have brought into Los Angeles, the second biggest market in the United States. I'm going to say they're going to implode. Pretty much they just don't care anymore. I'm going to so. say they're going to implode, which leaves one team that we're going to talk about for a quick second. Uh, one Before of the greatest we... quarterbacks in the NFL. One of the greatest Jimmy defensive Durant. players in the NFL with uh, Bobby Wagner. Richard Sherman. No, he is now playing for the Niners. We got rid of him because he's like 42 with bad hammies. Uh, oh, we turned over. We have 23 new players on our 53-man roster. We got young. We got fast. We jettisoned the old people. Did we brought up some new studs. That your roster is more than 25% of your players are your 2017 and 2018 draft picks. Yeah, and that – More than a quarter of your team. And that, Ryan, good. A lot years. of our team was old and injured, and draft picks is what uh, Pete Carroll and John Schneider do absolutely best. Um, yes, we have a lot of name, no name guys playing this year, but we also have a lot of good returning starters. Um, our receivers are, are short up. Brandon Marshall, I don't know if he's got anything in the tank. I'm not going to be one of these guys and say, oh, yeah, he's back to form. He's 34. Who knows? But he does yeah. look good in preseason. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being 34, Brian. No, no, no. I, hey, I wish I was 34. <laughs> but uh, Doug Baldwin, Doug Baldwin is one of the most underrated receivers in the NFL. Tyler Lockett, who is very good, is back from his injury. Um, yeah, Chris Carson, we can run the ball. We got a better offensive line. We Earl Thomas reported today. So I'm going to say it right now. The Seattle Seahawks are going to upset the entire universe and everybody in the NFL who have them ranked the 27th best team this year. Suck it, haters. The Seahawks are going to win our division. <laughs> Booyah! Go Hawks! Woo! 12th. Right here, 12th. This is why we're going to win. Oh. Best fans in the NFL, hands down. No, not competing. It's not even an option. It's not a debate. It's been settled. Settled science. <laughs> And I'm going to say the 49ers. Really? Not even picking the Rams? <laughs> no, I'm going to go with the Rams and then the 49ers <laughs> and then the Seahawks and then Oh, okay. The well, all right. All right, Yahoo, jackass. Who's going to be the wild card teams? Who's your two uh, wild card teams? Because I feel like we're going to be I very different. The wild card team is going to be um, the New Orleans Saints. All right. Well, you get two. Or the Cowboys. Because I picked the Eagles. There's two wild card teams. So it would be the Saints and the Cowboys. All right. So I will take the Eagles and the Rams as my two wild card teams. Actually, I said the Rams are going to implode. I'm going to say the Eagles and I'll take Atlanta. And that's it for the division. That's That's it for the division. All right. So who's going to play in the Super Bowl? uh, We already know what the Super Bowl is going to be. Who do you think is going to play for the AFC? I'll say my NFC team. I'll let you pick the AFC team and I'll pick the NFC team. Let's say it together at the same time. Seahawks. Steelers. There we go. Look at that. Seahawks versus the Steelers for the Super Bowl. Big Uh, surprise. There are two things that you have to know about us if you're watching the show going, are you guys insane? One, we always pick the Seattle Seahawks and the Pittsburgh Steelers to play in the Super Bowl. (laughs) No matter what, even if they're not in the playoffs, we still pick them to play in the Super Bowl. And I pick the Seahawks every week to win. 
Brian and I had an imaginary Super Bowl last year where the Steelers and the and the Seahawks played, and somehow both of our teams won, and we celebrated awesomely. Yeah. So, much. That's how we do yeah. it. <laughs> all right. That's, that's we rambled goes. long enough about the divisions. We have wasted yeah. all of our time, so we're going to blow through these picks. Normally, yeah. we, we won't spend a lot of time on it either, so we'll just, we'll, this will be par for the yeah. course. All right, so let's dive into this. The first game we got is the Thursday night game. Uh, kickoff at, what, 5.30? Make sure you have your fantasy team set for tomorrow night. 8.30 my time. So. Yes, we have the Falcons and the Eagles. Ryan, who are you picking? I'm picking the Eagles. Yeah, same here. Uh, I think the Falcons are a good team, like Ryan said earlier, but they have to go on the road to play Philadelphia, and that city is going to be jacked for that game. Uh, they already, I'm someone who lives in Philadelphia. Um, the city is already jacked, and it's kind of annoying. So... Yeah, and the Eagles are favorites in this, so uh, I guess we're picking with the NFL on this one. All right, up next up Sunday, the morning games. We'll go through the Monday. We'll go through the morning games and end with the ah decline. Why was somebody people. calling me? I don't know. Somebody was calling me. Stupid computer. It was, it was, was it the NFL? And they're like, might be. Brian, Let me look real quick. Is it? Is it your agent? And they said, Brian, no, we're calling. Some, you up. Hey, it was Nevada. Nevada called us. Somebody's watching us live, and they want to know our bets for they the evening. They want you on the, the, the Las Vegas Raiders. I guess. It could be. Maybe they need new GMs. <laughs> they definitely, John, need, they definitely John, need a new coach already. All right, John, so the Bills. John, Brian. First up, we're going to go from the Sunday morning games and then we'll end with the Monday night games. Uh, so, Bills are traveling to, the, to the, the Ravens. The Ravens, I believe, are favored. Even though I hate the Ravens, I don't like losing picks. Yeah. So I'm going to pick the Ravens. I'm going to go with the Ravens. One. I'm going to go with the Ravens too. And don't worry, me and Ryan are not picking all the same picks. I'm sure there's a couple picks yeah. we're going to pick separately on this one. Uh, all right, next up, yeah. we have Jacksonville heading to New York to play the Giants. Um, I'm going to go with the Jaguars. I too am I going with the Jaguars. I don't think the Giants are going to be able to put together. The New Giants York, are going to put together later in the season. New York might have a chance if they were playing late in the year and it was really cold and Jacksonville from Florida had to go up there, but they have no chance. Jacksonville's going to win this. Yeah. Uh, Tampa Bay is traveling. Man, there's a lot of easy games to pick. Tampa Bay is traveling to New Orleans to play the Saints. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be the Saints. Plus just, the Saints are like? favored by the NFL and by the Geek Dad Report. Me and Ryan are once again in unison on this one. All right, we may have our first uh, split <laughs> The Texans are traveling to New England to pay to pay to play the hated Super Bowl losing Patriots. I'm gonna. I don't think the Texans got it. I mean, I'm just gonna say it's gonna be the Patriots. All right, I'm gonna say I think Deshaun Watson's gonna be back from that knee injury, and they're gonna be ready and hungry. And they have the best receiver in the NFL, and they are going to torch that secondary for. Yeah, the Patriots did lose the season opener to the Chiefs last year. So. And the Patriots don't have a receiver that you can name on their roster right now. Yeah, Edelman sure. has been suspended for four games. They're they're yeah. starting running back is Rex Burkhead, and they are planning on suiting up four receivers who are on other teams' practice squads. I'm going to say the well, Texans are going to win this game. They got Kukowski. They're just going to. They have Gronkowski's going to, if you have Gronkowski, play him. He's going to have 38 catches in this game. Yes. All right, here we go. The San Francisco 40 Winers are traveling to Minnesota to play the Vikings. Ooh, this is going to be the new test of the quarterbacks. So I'm going to say the 49ers on this one. I'm going to say the Vikings are going to slap around that Mm. hack team. Do you know the Niners are starting, the hell's his name? Some hack running back who used to play for the Redskins. Is his name Hacky Hack Hack? Hacky McHacker's Hacker Pack is the yeah. running back for the Niners. And whatever. He's gonna they don't need him. They got Jimmy G. Alright, enjoy enjoy your enjoy losing that pick. Alright, next up we have the Titans. Oh god. Let's just say who wins this game. The Titans are traveling to Miami. Uh, Titans. Uh, I guess the Titans. I mean I don't think the Miami's got anybody anymore. <laughs> I don't think anybody's favored in this. I think Vegas said we're not accepting any bets on this game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Bengals are traveling to Indianapolis to play the Andrew Luckless Colts. Yeah, it's going to be the Bengals on that one. Yeah, I'm with Ryan on this one. The Bengals. God, I hate having to pick my fucking division rivals. This is dumb. God, we've only had, had one. We had two games so far we disagreed on. I'm pretty sure this will be the third. The Steelers are traveling to Cleveland to play the newly energized Cleveland Browns. And they're going to be doing it without Le- Levon, Le'Veon Bell. 
the all-purpose great running back. We got Connor. The offensive line is super stoked about him. So good for them. He's not living on Bell. Bell to wait until season until week ten, so that he doesn't lose the, so he can be a free agent. All right. So what we're we saying? You're taking the stupid Steelers, and I'm going to take the upstart Browns. Is that what we're doing here? You're going to waste a pick like that? Oh yeah, I'm taking the Browns. My Brian West upset special of the week. The Cleveland Steamers are going to beat Ben Roethlisberger's old allegedly rapey ass into submission in this one. Big Ben almost retired last year. He may retire after they lose to Cleveland. Oh, he's retiring this year. That's probably a good one. Upset special. Right. Come on, get on board with the upset special, Ryan. You know you want to. Oh. All right, whatever. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs are heading to San Diego to play the Chargers in a very good <laughs> week one uh, NFC West match or AFC West matchup. That's a hard one because yeah. uh, I picked the Chargers to win the division, so I think I'm going to have to go with the Chargers, even though my brain is telling me the Chiefs are going to win. If this was being played in Kansas City, I'd probably take Kansas City, but hence it's being played in uh, Los Angeles in that little teeny soccer arena. Uh, I think the Chargers are going to win this one. All right. All right, next up, game of the week, everybody. Seattle Seahawks are traveling to Mile High Stadium to play uh, Casey Keenum's top 50, top 40 Denver Broncos. Well, Brian. I'll tell you what the number one hit's going to be. It's going to be Russell Wilson hitting all his receivers in the back of the end zone. Woo! I'm going to go with my upset special of the week. And it's going to be that the Denver Broncos are somehow <laughs> uh, all the Seahawks are going there, and they're going to be so high at the mile high. You know, you're a better even... you're a better person than these meaningless retaliation revenge picks, Ryan. This is not Brian. I would never do such a thing. Never. All right, I'm fine. Just, whatever. No, no, that's cool. I'm a professional. Name two wear, players on the Broncos. I wear a suit and jacket. Name two. <laughs> I can't. So, <laughs> apparently the jacket is the only professional part of you, Ryan. All the research you did on your upset special, and you can't... I even already, I even told you one, Casey Keenum. You just got to come up with... Come on, Von Miller? You got to know Von Miller. Demarius taught you the worst. All right, moving... <laughs> See? This is what you get on this show, people. All right, moving on. The Washington Native Americans are traveling to the Arizona uh, Shitbirds. Oh, God. Can both of these teams just die? I'm Never going with the Washington Native Americans. I have no reason other than the Cardinals are are going to be <laughs> I'm gonna go, terrible. Yeah, I don't want to pick the Washington Native American, but I have to. All right, next up, the the uh, <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Rough Riders are traveling to Carolina to play the uh, the, the Kitty Cats. Who do we I'm going to go with Dallas because that offensive line is freaking crazy. So. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the Panthers. I do think Dallas is gonna win their division, but I think the Panthers at home are really tough. So I'm gonna say the Panthers in this one. All right, next up, the another good another good game. There's some good games this week. Uh, there's also some really bad ones, but the Bears are traveling to Lambeau to play the division rival, Green Bay mm-hmm. Packers, or to play the division the division rival, Aaron Rodgers and some other guys in in jerseys. Aaron Rodgers is gonna have like money just like coming out from underneath his. His shoulder pads. I, I'm calling it right now. He's going to be a healthy scratch right before the game because he'll be too busy counting his money. He'll have paper cuts on all his fingers from counting his hundred millions of dollars. He's just going to use it for extra padding for all the hits that he's going to take. And I'm going to call the upset again. I'm going to say the Bears are going to go into Lambeau and beat the Packers. No, I'm picking the Green Bay Packers. They're going to, they're going to somehow figure it out. Let's hope so. Oh. Hopefully Aaron Rodgers doesn't hurt his fingers from counting all that cash. Montgomery, he's a good running back. He'll he'll be fine. He'll be hurt before the end of the first quarter. All right, Jets. I heard uh I heard uh Eddie Eddie Chunky Lacey's still out there. They can bring him back. <laughs> uh he's the Jets been eating Chinese food. Yeah, he's eating that China food. His words, not mine, people. Don't send me hate mail. Um yeah. The Jets are heading Monday night. We got two we got a double header for Monday night football, as we always do in the opening weekend. Uh, Jets are heading to Detroit to play the Lions. 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 No reason. Lions. Mm. Uh, and last, the Los Angeles Rams of Anaheim 
are heading to the Las Vegas Oakland Raiders to play a team that used to have an, an amazing pass rusher who was maybe a once in a lifetime generational type player who John Gruden apparently still thought he was playing for the Buccaneers or coaching the Buccaneers decided that he didn't want to play, have him on his team anymore and shipped him out. That's who the yeah. Rams are playing. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Rams. I don't want, like the Rams and I want them to go 0 and 16, but I think it will take at least six or seven games before the implosion that I talked about. So I'm going to say the Rams are going to head into Oakland and beat the Raiders. So there you go, everybody. There's our week one picks from us, from Ryan and me. Uh, next week, we'll see who uh, who won and lost. Maybe we'll do another one together. We'll see. Uh, just, to, just to brag, depending on who does the best, we yes. may have a double show. But if not, one of us will definitely be picking up next week, and we'll be going over all our picks uh, for week two. So, um, as always, thank you for joining us for another season, and we would love you guys to play along. Please leave a comment in the uh, in the comments below letting us know who your picks are for each week. And uh, depending on how you use, and maybe every week we'll read off one of your guys' picks for our pick instead. We'll we'll choose a yeah. we'll choose a listener and we'll pick take their pick instead of ours. So, and maybe one week, Brian, yes. you will wear a suit jacket, and you will feel the glory that comes with it. Yeah, I'll, one one week I'll I'll finally really, you know, dive in and make sure I do some good an- anal licking, <laughs> like somebody on my on my show. Hopefully you just didn't skip ahead to that part. You're going to be like, what? Anal licking? <laughs> Analytics. you got to watch the whole show, everybody. All right. Well, that is it from us. Thank you for watching. We look forward to having another great season with all you guys. And uh, as always, go Hawks. And here we go, Steelers. Woo! This guy. This guy's yeah. this guy, the man. And, and please, people. Don't analytics. Just look at analytics. You know what, Ryan? I, I, you're being real judgy. Don't judge people. People do what you want in the privacy of your own home with consenting adults. On that note, everybody, thanks for watching and stay awesome. Nothing? All right, whatever. Ryan, didn't oh, know. I, I thought you were going to cut. Well, I was going to cut, but I would say stay awesome. You say stay nerdy. Oh, but yeah, stay nerdy. Go Hawks. <laughs>